the Golden Eye 007 speed running yeah. community. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to sit out for this one. I got nothing. <laughs> I played it when I was like 12 and wow. got nothing since then. <laughs> Here's the question. So the GoldenEye 007 speedrunning community became suspicious when players of a later N64 game, Perfect Dark, began to top the leaderboards. They used an undetectable technique that required no technical ability. What was it? Oh. One more time. The GoldenEye 007 speedrunning community became suspicious when players of a later N64 game, Perfect Dark, began to top the leaderboards. They used an undetectable technique that required no technical ability. What was it? Okay, so first of all, I'll say straight away is that Tom and I are big speedrunning fans. That Tom. That Tom. Not, not this Tom. The other Tom. Younger Tom. <laughs> yeah. There's there's 100% been a YouTube thumbnail about this exact thing that I didn't click on. And I wish I had. Tom, Tom, what is that thing that you can do yeah. to... Uh, it's like an assisted... A, a, a task. A task speed run. Tool assisted speed run. Is it a task yeah. speed run? So it has nothing to do with like hacking the game mm. or doing anything like that. So it's some... And you said... You said this is something to do with the sequel to GoldenEye, right? But like people from the first game were the ones that caught it. Is that correct? I think it is people who were playing Perfect Dark. Okay. So Perfect Dark had something that GoldenEye did not. This is hey, where hey. old man Tom rises from his chair and sort of cracks his bones and goes, Back in my day, <laughs> back in my day, the N64 had a rumble pack. So it did. And, uh, and the... Uh, and I think Perfect Dark came with like a memory expansion module or something like that. But it, the N64 had so, stuff you could physically plug into the back of the controller right. to do some stuff. Beyond that, I don't know because I never had an N64. <laughs> My entire N64 knowledge comes from university and endless games of Mario Kart Double Dash, which is the best Mario Kart. And I've all broken no argument on this. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the test of time. Um... It, yeah, I'm wondering if it is some, I'm thinking it might be some like hardware hack like that where you can like unplug, plug in to like maybe reload a save or to, or maybe like a second player. But Caroline said it's not, no hack. Yeah, so it was undetectable in that you could not tell what the trick was by watching like a tape of a player's game. So you couldn't watch, like if you were watching it on YouTube or something like that, you wouldn't be able to tell. If somebody had taped the game, you wouldn't be able to tell what the trick was. Having your older cousin do it and then telling your friends that you do it. <laughs> yeah, so it's something they're physically doing. Yeah, if it's something in the hardware, I assume you wouldn't be able to see that on the stream. Is it something in the hardware, Tom? It sounds like it's not. <laughs> it sounds like it might not be. <laughs> Is GoldenEye deterministic? So does it have a random oh, yeah. number generator in there that they're playing with somehow? Because a lot of games will just rely on a roll of the dice, which I know from Matt Parker's video on Minecraft. <laughs> no, nothing like that. It's something about, it must be something about the way Perfect Dark works that they have imported oh, somehow. Uh, um, does it have to do with the frame rate? No. <sighs> Because some 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 games, when you like bump the frame rate to above what they were gonna be played at, sometimes the logic um, will like run all the other code twice as well. Like if you double the frame rate, um, I had I had a bug like that in my game actually. Um, so I'm very familiar with that. I had to work with that issue before. Um, was it was it like a physical accessory that came with Perfect Dark that they that they're using? So it is something that was a feature of Perfect Dark, which was not a feature of GoldenEye. Of the game itself. Think about what you're doing in these games. What what specifically are you playing? Oh, is it wait, wait, wait. Can I ask, is it is it a um is it like a like a like a like a toy gun accessory or something that you can like point maybe? It's not a toy gun, but you're like getting oh but th that last thing that you said is along the right. What was that last thing? What was that last thing you said, Tom? That very last word that you said. Toy gun accessory or something. S something. Great. You said something about pointing it. Mouse? Is it you can use a mouse and keyboard? Goldeneye was a nightmare to aim in. I remember that. 
<gasps> you had to hold down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, assuming yeah. that the kids in the room have never played Goldmine on an N64. Wait a second. It was a nightmare because they hadn't invented how to aim properly yet. And it was this horrible... Do like, you have two people, one person just aiming? No, you're so close, though, with the aiming problem, a feature that Perfect Dark had that GoldenEye did not have. Auto-aim? No, not auto-aim, not quite. A sensitivity to the to aiming? I will give you a further clue. It was a... You needed a physical item to do this, te this technique, which you could maybe uh, like attach to your screen or you could use it to adjust your screen somehow something like Brightness, that this maybe it's not quite it's, that it's not like the the duck hunt like like little gun attachment thing is it no so you're thinking too much of like an attachment to the game yeah. think about less about something you could attach like an attachment that you could buy maybe go more towards Something you might have around your home, some stationery that could help you out with this. Oh, oh, did they tape something to like the, the, the center of the screen to aim? Really? Yeah. They just added a crosshair. <laughs> they just added a crosshair with yes. a bit of... <laughs> <sighs> that's, that's exactly what I they did. I have to assume once the GoldenEye players realized that you could do that, they then started to get better again than the perfect because that's does it's not like there's anything particularly special about that i assume i have no clue to be honest if that's what they then went on to do but that's certainly what players of perfect dark were doing aiming aiming was a nightmare i remember playing multiplayer goldeneye yeah and you had two options you either had to just line up correctly in the middle of the screen so you knew you'd hit someone or learn this incredibly intricate thing where you had to move with one thumb and then hold down a button and aim the crosshair with the other and hope it worked and by that point someone had shot you. Like, yeah, you just put a crosshair in the middle of this. Of course you do. Yeah. Oh, I'm uh -huh. truly, uh -huh. I'm thinking, I'm in Caroline's shoes, thinking of all the times we were like, what if it has to do with interpolating the frame rate and then if you right? <laughs> do this thing <laughs> and you're just like sticky note <laughs> on the screen. Just oh. put a bit of blue tack in the middle of your screen. There you go. That's so interesting. I won't lie. I've spent so many hours watching Breath of the Wild speed runs over the last couple of months that I could not even conceive that that might been, have been an option. That's so good. That's so good.